Welcome everyone to another episode of A Bryce Side. Today we are here in Poole, Cornwall. That's Poole without an E. Don't get confused with the Dorset version of Poole. To visit Heartlands, which is a World Heritage Site for mining. So let's go check it out. So Heartlands was opened in 2012 and it was developed on the Robinson shaft at South Crofty mine here in Poole and it's situated on over 19 acres. How about that? So a little bit of wayfinding, we've just parked in that direction where the car park is. There is a kids like play park over there with all sorts of bits and pieces in it like slides etc. Here there is the Red River Cafe, almost said Red Cafe then, but Red River Cafe. The engine house itself, Cornish flag there, flying proudly. And back in this direction, there are some gardens where you can find some little fairies and stuff. Not the fairies, but like the, the evidence of fairies are uh, like doors, etc. Kids are here having a run round in the sun. It's actually a very nice sunny day today. Nice little pond area. Oh, is the actual river running that the... Yes. Ah, do you know what? I've never seen this run. We've got a rock in there and it's still floating. Got a rock that's floating down there, yeah. I've never seen that in operation. Looks like a wedding has just come out. You actually can get married here at Heartlands. There's a registry office there. My sister got married here, from back. That's right, your sister got married here. Don't get your sleeves wet. <laughs> Some old tracks here. Just a little reminder of a bygone age. <laughs> yeah, someone's just said their vows and has got married. Right, so I've just walked past the Red River Cafe and we're we're gonna kind of do a little sweep around the site to give you guys an idea of what's here. The nice thing about Heartlands is it's actually free. It's an attraction here in Pool that you can actually just turn up to. You don't have to book, you can just park your car and you can have a little bit of a wander around and soak up a little bit of heritage. So there's an information placard here on this building. It says substation built 1909 and it operated between 1909 and 1996. In the early 1900s, Crofty began to join the electrification that was now widespread in the area, a process that would not be complete here until 1967. Huh. Wow. Look at that. Very cool. So just looking back at that substation, sweeping around in this direction, these houses, I think they're all like eco-friendly houses, they've been built on property. Quite a few of them down there. Look quite nice. Moving around this pathway, I say path, this like gravel path. In this direction there are lots of like private businesses. So that says on there that it's like a primary, what does it say, a primary teacher training. Uh, that one looks not to be open. And then we've got this books and gifts. A climate change centre. Be flood ready. Accountants. Yeah, so there's a few little bits on site. Penley family project. What a lovely blue sky. I do require the shades. It's like 
this circular pit with like a little step down. I'm not sure what it is or what it represents. And it's got like these big wooden posts all around it with all sorts of like sculptures nailed to it. I don't know if you can see them. Interesting. Right, need to find Shelley and the kids. They're here somewhere. At Heartlands there is a conference centre, the Chai and Bobel conference centre. I think I pronounced that right, Chai and Bobel. It's all set up, however, for the wedding that's just taken place. Yeah. Someone's gonna have some nice food shortly. Aha! I have located Shelley and AJ. I don't know where Matilda is. She'll be around somewhere. The Diaspora Gardens. So the kids have already found that. This is where the fairy doors and all are. So we're going to have a little look in there in a minute. So what does it say? The Diaspora, the Diaspora Gardens tell the story of the Cornish miners who took their innovations and culture around the world. Today there are an estimated 6 million people worldwide descended from migrant Cornish mine workers. Alright. So we've just entered the gardens. In back of the air is the pump house. Uh, some more houses on that side of the property as well. You all know I love my information placards. We have spotted this little map. So... Where are we? So... That's us. And I see. Ah, okay, so for all the different countries where so South America, Australia, New Zealand, South America, North America down there. So there's a little placard here for South Africa. So obviously the entrance we've just come in is here. Hard rock mining was the Cornish speciality. And it isn't just tin and copper that are found in hard rock. Cornwall's mining expertise unlocked the diamond fields of South Africa in the 1870s and Cousin Jacks further swelled the gold rushes the 1800s. And this is what we're talking about with the little fairy doors. There's a little fairy door attached to that bench so obviously that's all hollowed out and it's someone's home. That's amazing. Should we see if anyone's in? No, no answer. Okay, we'll try again later. A little bit of art here. It does look like someone has tagged it up a little bit, which is a shame, but um, there you go. Another little door there. I don't know if anyone's home. The little birds there in the background. What a lovely place just to come and uh, sit down, relax. I suppose there's nothing stopping you bringing a little picnic if you want on a day like this. How oh, lovely. Have you found another door? Yeah. Can you knock on it and see if anyone's in? Let's jump on Any answer? No. Okay, I don't think they would appreciate you jumping on their house. Another nice mural just attached to that fence. These trees look very Australian to me. Let's see if we're in Australia, because I've just found this information placard here. Yes. Australia, when Cornish, when Cornish mining led the world, the skills of engine men and hard rock miners were in demand around the globe. The promise of adventure and good money to be made setting up mines in exotic places tempted a first wave of emigrants, immigrants to leave Cornwall. Just here in the shrubbery, we have found a New Zealand section of this little garden. Besides mining, Cornwall is also famous for its great houses and gardens such as Bernagoo, Bernagoo, I can't even say that, Scoriar and Trigullo, built with great wealth accumulated by mining families. Bernagoo's. Bernagoo's. Shelley! Okay, Shelley thinks Bernagoo's. Bernagoo's, Bernagoo's, Bernagoo's. We'll go with that, we'll go with Shelley's. 
I'm not going to lie, all this Cornish heritage has made me want to eat a pasty now. I am hungry. Mm. All right, South America. Cornish mining really did change the world as skilled miners and engineers transformed mining districts on all continents using their familiar ways of working. They also took their culture and pastimes, many of which took root and flourished in their new settings. Today, Cornish names and habits survive and are celebrated in ex-mining districts around the globe. Of the sports played by Cornish miners, rugby took more of a hold in Australia, South Africa and New Zealand. But football really caught on in Mexico. The first Mexican football club, the Paco... something, athletic club, had only Cornish miners as members at first. Awesome. Pasties also became popular in Mexico. A version made with chilies known as pastes is the local speciality. Maybe we'll um, try and find a recipe and make one of those. That sounds interesting. Pacuca, that's what I'm thinking. Didn't ask Shelly, I'm just thinking it Pacuca. No idea what those trees are called, but I like them. Oh, that fairy door's got a Cornish flag on it, isn't it? Yeah! Nice! Right, so leaving South America, this has now got to be North America, it's the only one we haven't found. And finally, North America. The export of Cornish mining and so many Cornish immigrants has left a lasting legacy in a series of little Cornwalls around the globe. Grass Valley in California is a typical example. Gosh, that does look very Cornish. That just looks like it could be here. That's in California, that's amazing. Huh. This is cool, so Grass Valley, so it's been a state park since 1975, holds a Cornish Christmas and St Piran's Day celebration each year and pasties remain a popular speciality. Well, one day, I think we're gonna go to Grass Valley in California and check it out. Right, so we've just left the Dysporia Gardens and now we're back to where we started the vlog. I did the intro just on that little grass, uh, grassed area there. We're gonna head into the Red River Cafe and see what they've got on offer. Hopefully a pasty. Red River Cafe, let's do it. But I've just read this, due to staff shortages, we are not serving food today. We apologize for any convenience. Darn, because I wanted a pasty. All right, heading in. Soft play. Soft play? Ooh. Soft play. Soft play? Ooh. Right, so any drinks are available today due to a staff shortage. So we're gonna go with like a coffee and a tea, that type of thing. Not too bad prices. It's quite nice in here, isn't it? It's all, so obviously this would have been a former sort of working building, I assume, particularly that part of it. Um, this looks more of a shed that's been added on. But look at this beside us, look at that geek saw. That looks rather frightening, doesn't it? What's quite nice is that this little cafe is table service. Another piece of kit here, what is this? If you know what this is, then drop me a comment because I want to know what this is. I'm not very good with tools and the like, so yeah, if you know, let me know. Okay, so this piece of kit is a planer. Look at that. And then right beside it is this. A thick, what? A thicknesser, mortiser. What on earth is that? Whatever it is, I don't like the look of it. Right, so our beverages have just arrived. I got the s'mores hot chocolate, which looks really delicious. And you went with the... Uh, Kinder Bueno. Kinder Bueno. That looks really good as well. I've had a slurp, so... It's all right. You can have a marshmallow. You can pinch one. And the kids have got their apple juices. I want a piece. I want another. Did you steal that from Mummy? No, I just... Well, I gave it to me. And then... And then I gave one to him. Where's my brownie gone? <laughs> AJ, have you stolen my brownie? Yeah. Can I at least have one bite so I can see what it's like? Ready? Hello! Hi! Okay. Hey. He's a little tinker, isn't he? <laughs> okay, so that's like a, a more of a cakey style brownie. You really liked the crocker, didn't I you? I do. I really like this. 
Is there any point in the upgrade? We're going to have to find out what they use because I quite like these. I think they're good. You can buy me these for an anniversary or Christmas or something. Right, hit by a bit of a breeze there. So we got done in the cafe. I think I'll need the shades in a second. Um, how was your hot chocolate? It was very nice. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? It wasn't too bad. I will be requiring the shades. Nice. There is a museum here at Heartlands. So here in this building, in this central building, we've got Wheel Play, which I believe is a soft play, and then the Visitor Centre and Exhibitions. So let's head in. Don't step out of that door because, yeah. Oh, now that's a shame. Now, due to the wedding and the function that they had in the building, the museum today is closed. Dang. So what we'll do is we will come back to Heartlands on another day and look at that museum and check it out. What an amazing structure though. Look at that. South Crofty being the last tin mine in Cornwall. I can't remember the exact date when it closed, but I'll write that date in right now. There's always rumors and hearsay that the site is gonna be reopened, um, but I don't know. Well, obviously not this bit, the other parts of South Crofty. I don't know, they're always looking at uh, reopening it see if it's worth the money but as of yet it is still closed so pretty much where i started the video we're going to end the video right there i do hope you enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up do subscribe to the bright side it really does help the channel grow hit the notification bell and you'll never miss it on any video that we post we're on social media we're on twitter facebook and instagram at the bright side so check us out there so from us to you cheers and gone <laughs>